welcome everyone to the MR channel as where I share ideas and other topics about money. Today, I'm going to dive into gold versus the dollar. And I think that is very important to understand the position of gold versus the dollar. And the reason why is because the dollar is becoming more and more worthless. So let's take it back to the basics. In 1971, President Richard Nixon took us off the gold standard. So the dollar was no longer backed by gold, which means without having gold support the dollar, we can now print a finite amount of money without having to have the reserves of gold to support every dollar. And that U.S. dollar became currency. That's what we use as an exchange of currency. So instead of it being money, it became currency since it was no longer backed by gold. And that allows an unlimited amount of credit or what we would call money printing. So think about, think about it like this. It's like giving a financial illiterate individual a infinite amount of credit cards and they can now spin, spin, spin and increase their debt and pretty much go bankrupt and go extreme bankrupt with the high amounts of spending and have no backing or a proven ability to pay it back because you now no longer need gold to back every dollar that you have. And when you look at the deficit of the United States, that's what we see. That's what we see it going on. We see an increase of debt, an increase of spending, and an increase of credit without the ability of being able to pay the debt without the ability to be able to pay the deficit. But on the contrary, we continue to hold our gold and buy more gold and not have to worry about giving up any of our gold because our currency, our dollar, is no longer supported by gold. So for the people that only believe in just saving, save, 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 or I'm going to save myself the wealth, that so-called money gets diluted. And that's what we see going on in the economy and across the world. As we continue to print money or increase the monetary supply, the dollar gets diluted. And the problem is that the government can and will continue to print money which the value of your money, it will decline. The value of your money goes down. And as the value of the dollar continues to decline, the prices, the prices of things continue to go up. And they call that inflation. They call it inflation. And if you look at the cost of food, energy, shelter and wonder why why over existence prices go up again they call that inflation but really but really what happened is that the the dollar value the value of the dollar went down that's what's really occurring in which you can kind of get a better sense of why savers Save, 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 save. Why savers get crushed. So instead of focusing on 
the traditional rules or the old school rules to just save, save, save. The better approach would be is to prepare yourself and to head yourself against losses on your money. Now, if you're in stocks and you're into crypto, you understand how it hedging yourself and protecting yourself against losses is, right? We, 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 we use the term stop loss. So I'm not telling you to not have any money. I'm not saying to not have any specific amount in the in your account, in your bank account at any time. I'm not saying that either. But what I'm saying is to consider hedging your money, for an example, with gold, silver is very affordable, and other assets. So as the dollar continues to lose value, we know that gold and silver goes up in value. There's a lot of historical data of the dollar and it provides enough data for you to come to the conclusion to not bet against gold or silver, but to bet against the dollar in which will continue to climb. That dollar will continue to climb. It will continue, continue to decline. And the old school method or way, the traditional aspect of saving money, that was effective when we had the dollar backed by gold. But now that money has no gold backing, it shows that money becomes more worthless over time as we continue to print it. And when you look at the U.S. dollar, there's a lot of data that shows that it has lost 80, 86% of its purchasing power over the past 50 years. And again, the reason is because when money was made currency, it could now be printed in a at finite amount, right, at unlimited rates, which allows currency value to decline. Or if that's not clear enough, if you look at the Germans, if you look at Argentina, Zimbabwe, if you look at the English, um, their, their money went to zero. Their money went to zero. So with savers that only know these old school, old school traditional rules to just save, 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 they're going to get wiped out. They're going to be wiped out. Especially when you look at the rates of, the interest rates that banks are paying, which is little to no interest. So that little to no interest on your savings that's not going to keep up with the uh, unlimited amount of money printing. It damn sure is not going to keep up with the rate of inflation. So saving, again, it's not going to keep up with the unlimited money printing or what we have, what we call inflation. The true definition of inflation is not going to keep up with the expansion of the monetary supply. So, Understand and learn how to hedge your money. And don't just take a random YouTuber like myself advice. Become financially educated. So with that said, stay motivated, stay dedicated, and keep hustling. Peace.